Uh, I would like to welcome our next speaker, Mr. Adam Zeller from uh, Epic Inlabs, who will share the topic uh, for the manufacturing. Uh, we'll share the slides, I'm sorry, for the manufacturing topic. Uh, Trust-based resource sharing in distributed manufacturing. So, yeah, Adam is here. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you yeah. very much. Can I yeah. start my presentation? Welcome. Yeah. OK, thank you. So welcome, everyone. The title of my presentation is Trust-Based Resource Sharing in Distributed Manufacturing. And my name is Adam Soler. As you can see on the slides, I work as a systems engineer at Epic Innolabs and also work for, as a resource associate at the Institute for Computer Science and Control, which uh, Hungarian shortage is uh, stocky. And then the uh, the company I work for, Epic Innovs, is a joint venture of the Stucky and some Fraunhofer Institutes. And these partners are forming a consortium called the Epic Center of Excellence. The topic I will be presenting is not as industry and case study, but research, this, which results can and plan to be applied in industry. Let's first talk about the problem description. First, globalization and fluctuating customer demands in manufacturing pose serious challenges uh, for companies. And to be able to keep the deadlines and undertake larger or more urgent orders, these companies often keep extra capacities. But this may result in a low resource utilization in less busy periods. Another, maybe more efficient uh, business strategy is to join clusters and federations and share resources with each other. Uh, within the federation, <clears throat> for example, request resources in case of um, having shortages and offer them when having free resources. But companies will, will not join the federation and share information about themselves without any advantage. So they have to be motivated somehow. The other issue is trustfulness. To share resources, companies have to keep their promises. This is the main, co main pillar of collaboration. So the goal of the research was to create and test resource sharing mechanisms between manufacturing companies. And the other goal was to consider trustfulness of companies in decision making. And Danielogic was a very good tool for creating this model because we can use agent-based simulation to model complex communication between partners on a realistic way and to effectively run the experiments. <clears throat> Let's talk about the resource, the platform based resource sharing model. First of all, uh, in the model, companies are members of a federation and they receive an order stream from outside, as you can see here. And in case of having a lack of resources, they send requests to the federation center or platform. And in case of having free resources, they can send offers to this central platform, the federation center. And the role of the Federation Center is, is, is to match the requests with the offers. And uh, when after matching them, the Federation Center sends the different possibilities for the requester agent. After, after the requester agent uh, choose, choose the, the best solution for it, for them, there will be a contract. and. A contract is made between the offeror and the requester company. And from the offeror side, from the offeror side, three promises will be given. The first is to complete and do not cancel the job, which was undertaken. The other one is to complete it on time. And the third one is to complete it in the expected quality. And the base of the rating uh, given after each contract, uh, that's how we uh, we consider trustfulness. So the base of the, the ratings will be actually these uh, three things. <clears throat> In the platform-based resource sharing model, a request can be fulfilled by a combination of offer, offers coming from possibly different companies. And the, the, the platform can offer or can send offers from previously unknown companies as well. And also, the platform uh, the platform gives access to the reputation values, which will be introduced in detail in the in the next slides. And these these are the the three main let's say motivate motivations for companies to join and share capacity information about themselves uh, within the federation. 
And as I mentioned, the aim of, of, the, of, the, of the platform is not to find the best solution, but to provide some good alternatives uh, for the requesting companies. And in the following, I would like to highlight the novelties of this approach. Although trust models are applied in computer industry, for example, for differentiating between reliable and non-reliable peers, and also used in online commerce, trustfulness was not really considered in relation to manufacturing or the production networks yet. And in that few models where this is included, in one hand, the problem is uh, that different, so, so it different, um, it, so the, the, the considering this factor is different because the rating of the suppliers is examined and the one who is giving the rating and the other one who is rated are not on the same level of value creation and they are not competitors. And in, in our model, in my model, they are competitors of each other. And on the other hand, <clears throat> these models concentrate on the detailed trust model instead of the capacity constraints. If these capacity constraints are neglected, the model cannot take into consideration the case when a reliable partner become overloaded. And due to this, some of the Federation members have to work with less reliable ones, resulting in lower service level. <clears throat> As I mentioned, I will uh, introduce uh, in details how we are considering the trustfulness in this model. So in the model, we can differentiate between two ratings and, and these two ratings are computed on a zero to 100 scale. And uh, as you can see here, the first uh, factor that we consider is trust. This is an internal value. This is based on direct interactions. And actually it is like uh, considering an own opinion of a company about another one. And the, and the other uh, factor is called reputation. And this is a public value influenced by all the interactions uh, made by the company. This is similar to Google reviews. This is an, some kind of aggregated value of all the own interactions. And uh, <clears throat> these ratings are given by the requester about the offer after each contract. And the base of the rating is the percentage lateness with a specific job, as you can see here, compared to the deadline in the contract. And this rating is uh, the base of the decision when choosing between different offers. The weighted average of previous ratings is computed and the modified exponential uh, smoothing is applied to assign smaller weights to older ratings. <clears throat> You can, you can see here the simulation model of uh, this network. Here, the, as I mentioned, the aim of the simulation model uh, was to provide an experimentation tool for investigating different scenarios. And in this case, 10, 10 company agents were placed to the map of Hungary and uh, individual resource utilizations and reputation values are visualized uh, during the model running, as you can see here. The average resource utilization and service level, um, which means the extent to which the deadlines have been met, are also presented here, as you can see. The green part of the pie charts are also, also visualizing the actual resource utilization level of the companies. Mm -hmm. Here in the analogic model, the platform and the companies were also modeled with agents. From them, the 40% of the agents were, were reliable, and 60 of them, 60% of them was non-reliable. I will uh, explain this in the next slide in details. And in the model, the frequency of the incoming order stream, the number of companies, and basically all the factors are parameters that we can experiment with. <clears throat> As I mentioned, uh, they are reliable and non-reliable agents in the model. And the difference between them is that reliable ones are more likely to meet the deadlines. The real job completion, completion times, as you can see here, are generated from uh, normal distributions in the model. As, and as you can, you can see, the difference between the two types of agents <coughs> is the expected value of this uh, truncated normal distribution from which the, the real completion times are generated. And for the non-reliable ones, uh, this expected value is shifted from, let's say, the promised, the, the promised completion time, resulting in higher completion times in average. And in the right-hand side, as you can see here, uh, 
the reputation values of the reliable partners and the non-reliable partners or, or members are separating from each other and this results in higher resource utilization as you will see here for uh, reliable agents because uh, because they win more jobs because they, they have higher ratings in the model. In the following slides, I'm going to explain the results of uh, some experiments. And uh, one experiment was about comparing the introduced platform-based solution with resource sharing via direct communication uh, between the companies. And uh, we are investigating the difference in case of different federation sizes, as you can see here. There will be two cases, two, uh, two actually two KPIs. The first is uh, the average resource utilization, and the other one is the service, service level. And as you can see in the left hand side diagram, the platform based approach performs better in case of the average resource utilization in the federation. And the difference between the two models is approximately 30%. And this difference is due to the more complex matching mechanism on the, of the platform that can combine these offers uh, from different companies also. And in the right hand side, you can see the difference between the service uh, levels in the two cases. And the service level, actually, it is computed by measuring the percentage lateness for each completed job and subtracting it from 100%. Here, at first glance, in a surprising way, the direct exchange based mechanism performs uh, better. And this is because the average resource utilization is, is much lower in this case, and the reliable partners and are not as much loaded as in the platform-based solution. And uh, actually, this way, the facilities have a better chance to choose a more uh, reliable partner, and this res results in a higher average resource utilization level. <clears throat> the next experiment was um, about uh, the, the testing the effect of a negative event that affects trustfulness. And uh, in this case, uh, for, so for example, we have, we have seen an example of this in the recent years in, in the automotive industry. In this experiment, the performance of the company, actually, it, it, it does not change, but the public reputation value of it uh, was decreased manually, as you can see here. You can see here the manual decrease of, of this value. And also, you can see here the separation between the reliable agents and the non-reliable agents also. You can see here the different axes. Here is the reputation value of the companies. You can see here the simulation time uh, running. And here you have another, or we have another axis called resource utilization. And uh, in this case, as you can see, there are some values uh, higher than 100%. These are, these are because, the, because in this case, it was also allowed for companies in addition to uh, resource sharing to bring in extra resources, for example, additional shifts uh, when having shortages. And yeah, this is the cause of sometimes a higher uh, value values than 100%. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> here you can see, and at, at this time point, the the reputation value of the company zero nine was decreased manually, and you can also see here that the reputation value is in this specific company is rising back to the original level relatively quickly. And, uh, and you can also see that the resource utilization level of this uh, company remains low for a long time. And actually, this is because the partners and, and the, let's say, the decisions in the Federation about different offer offers. So the partners make their decision between these offers based on individual trust and public, public uh, reputation values also. So the individual trust values were the, let's say, their own opinion, and the and the public trust values were provided by the federation center of or platform. And uh, and as as I mentioned, the performance and the accuracy of the company have not changed. And because of this, after some interactions that will increase uh, the reputation, this value will arise. But in case of the individual trust values, these mean the personal opinions of the company, 
will increase much slower because the lower number of uh, individual interactions. And this is why the resource utilization level will increase much slower because these two values are, are both included in the in the decision making and in the reputation value all the interactions are included but in the individual trust values uh, they are just also they are just includes they are just including the direct interactions and the the evaluation and the rating of the direct interactions uh, to, to have a summary and to highlight the essence of the presentation an agent-based simulation model in analogic for trust-based resource sharing was introduced. And here, the goal of the experiment was to create an effective mechanism that can be applied in real life and, uh, and to test the effect of the realistic scenarios and, and just, uh, just to create some kind of experiments based on which the algorithm can be developed. And uh, we have some future plans plans also in connection with this resource sharing mechanism. The first is to, to apply multi-criteria decision making uh, and, and have different types of, uh, of companies with different preferences. For example, they, they can prefer, prefer price or they can uh, prefer trustfulness or, for example, sustainability, meaning that they will choose the offer with the, with, with the lowest uh, logistics cost. The second uh, main future plan or, or second main direction is to extend the company agents with a discrete event-based factory model, which is also possible using uh, any logic because in analogic, as you know, the agent-based modeling and the discrete event-based modeling uh, can be can be combined. And in this case, the let's say the capacity constraints and computing the capacity capacities uh, of the companies can be replaced with uh, with the more realistic. Uh, simulation and more realistic factory models and the third future plan is to run more experiments um, as the platform which is uh, responsible for the matching and providing reputation values for the companies it, it has a global view in the system so it can optimize for example logistics uh, logistics routes and and the the platform can see all the interactions all the offers all the requests so having this global view we can optimize uh, in this federation and the other type or other group of of running experiments is uh, is investigating the case when the reliable uh, partners have higher prices so just to investigate how much how much they can uh, increase their price uh, because they are their reliability and the other other thing is uh, to investigate which is the critical mass for this federation to, to work uh, actually um, based on different um, company loads and different uh, order sizes and order frequencies coming from outside the, the federation. So these are these are different future plans we want to investigate. And I would like to you thank you for your turn your attention and and please don't hesitate to ask some questions. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Adam. Mm -hmm. So let's wait for the questions. Okay. While we are waiting for the questions, mm -hmm. I would like to remind that we've got a round tables just at the left at the left menu of the of your conference profile so anyone please uh, feel free to join any round table they are open uh, just until the end of the conference and uh, you feel free to discuss with other participants and with our uh, experts developers and uh, other people who will join there that <clears throat> The topics are, uh, are already open, so you can discuss AI and simulation, the future of simulation, share your ideas about the simulation in academia and exchange the experience that you have uh, with the simulation model. And so please feel free to enter there and uh, communicate. OK, so it seems that uh, we don't have any questions yet. So in case any questions are appearing you please feel free to contact adam directly in uh, in the messages so i would like to say thank you adam 
and uh, see you, you. At, the, at our discussion boards and our discussion mm -hmm. activities on the conference. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Thank you.